Sing to the rock, sing to the tree, sing to the firefly lighting up the sky. Sing, sing to the sea. Hello, I'm Mary Whelan, and this is the song a show that features songwriters and their original songs. And today I am very pleased to present Piper Bichette. song was called What Will She Write? And it was, it's the first of a collection of songs that I wrote while I studied at Berklee College of Music in Boston. And I had writer's block and I didn't know what to write about. So the first two verses were all images of writer's block. And I came up with epiphany of having the singer be a teacher looking from a student's perspective on not being able to write at all and then all of a sudden an epiphany comes and she writes a masterpiece and blows her teacher away. And so that was what will she write. This next song is called I Am the Tortoise and You Are the Hare and it is inspired from 
a friend of mine that I've had for many, many years who differed, started to differ from me. And the choices she made in life versus the choices I made um, became, it gave way to such a different future than both of us expected. And this song is going to sound very angry. That's, that's certain, but the ang in the anger is sadness because everyone has this, this moment when a friend doesn't grow up to be the same friend or, and something changes and they go down a different route than you. And so this is I am the tortoise and you are the hare. so glad that you were able to come back. It's been, yeah. it's been quite a while since you've been <laughs> It <here>. has. It's <laughs> been like four, four or five years, <laughs> something it's, like that. Yeah, it's we started real. in 2012 and now it's 2016. Yeah. Yeah, yeah close to four years. Now, um, you know, um, since then, you've been pretty busy going to school. Yeah, yeah. I'm a graduate from Berkeley uh -huh. now. So I'm, I'm back in the area. It's, I, I found um, a, lot of, a lot of my classmates at Berkeley were, were always ta talking about like, oh, now you got a, now you've got a degree, and you're, you're gonna, ha are you gonna like hang out in the city or do do a lot of like show show business or something like that with the, with, with the heart. No, I, I, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to bring what I've learned yeah. in the city, in mm -hmm. the hub of Boston, mm -hmm. Back Bay, Berkeley, mm -hmm. and bring it back here yeah. to, the, to, to the, the place where I, I, I imagine myself living all my life. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, right. I'm sure people around here are very happy yeah. to hear that. <laughs> very know? much. Yeah. There's, I, I've, had, I've had people that I've played with before mm -hmm. and that 
um, I've done gigs with before, and they're just like tapping their feet, waiting for me to get out of here, yeah. <laughs> try and get me to be able to play with them, play with them again. And, so. and now you have quite a few fans in this area yeah. because <laughs> you've been, even though you're still pretty young, you're only 24 years old, mm -hmm. right? But you've been playing professionally for 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's been fun. It's been very fun. Uh-huh. Yeah. Doing great. what I love. <laughs> and uh, and I know you're going to be doing, you've played at Channelist before, but you're going to be uh, doing every month for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Once a month for their high tees, back in with them again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now that's four to six on what day? Four, four to six on Saturdays. On Saturday. Yeah. Great. And people can go to Channelist Restaurant over by Yankee Candle. Yep. Yeah. And hear you playing. Yeah, that's great. Exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. And, uh, well, that's really great. Now, um, you know, this is a much bigger hop than it the is. one you had last time. Yeah, you this, is, this is my Boston baby. <laughs> uh-huh. You've got this in yeah. Boston? I, I, well, I, I, got it, I got, it, got it from, from my teacher, Rosemary Kane, actually. Uh -huh. but, um, but it was, I needed a, I needed a bigger louder, fancier harp to do all, all the stuff that I've been doing at Berkeley. So, mm -hmm. so I got this in the tail end of my first semester. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Now, at, at Berkeley, you, you were studying songwriting and other Songwriting, things? music therapy. Music therapy. And music education. And music education. Yeah. Cool. Great. So they, I, I was reading something about how they do try to teach you stuff that can where you're likely to be able to get yes. work, <laughs> yeah. you know, because you, some a lot of you know some people really aren't going to get a lot of gigs. Yeah. They're not going to yeah, be able exactly. to make a living just with gigs. But mm -hmm. their music therapy and music education certainly would be a very practical way to supplement what you make from gigs. You know? Certainly, yeah, yeah. Certainly, yeah. So great. Well, why don't you do another song and we'll talk right. a little more. Okay. Uh, this this next song is called Inspired, and it is a it is a story about the sing the singer is a person that's created created a character in their imagination and in their dreams and they've fallen in love with that person. It's sort of like the story of Pygmalion. Pygmalion, excuse me. And they they're singing about how how they they wish they could bring that person into reality so it could be a friend lover whichever whichever it would be and the bridge tells about how it, in order to be able to live your dreams make it somehow a part of your life do what you love embody that that character in in life so this is inspired. in 
the night and I come to know my age and space is slowly passing I can't spend my days on dreaming you say shoot for the moon if I'm to join the stars soon I know I can but why must you live inside? I'm tired, I'm inspired to dream about your pale and fired eyes. Then I realize if I can't bring you Of that old ballad you sang to me You say shoot for the moon If I'm to join the stars soon I know I can such a life, but why must you live inside? I'm tired, I'm inspired to dream about your pale and fired eyes. I'm tired, I'm inspired. Very nice. <laughs> I like that. Now, um, you perform solo under the name Piper the Pied Harpist, yes. right? But you're also part of a band. What's yes. the band's name? Um, the band is called Dogs at the Door, and it's sort of, sort of, a, sort of an activist group. Where we just, we just got, to, got together as friends, and, and we, um, we created our first, our first song that's on YouTube called They Fracked Paradise, and it's a parody to um, Joni Mitchell's Big Yellow Taxi, and it speaks out against the NED, the, mm -hmm. the Northeast, Northeast Expansion, pro Expansion Pipeline? Yeah, mm -hmm. the, 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 the yeah. NED that's trying to come yeah. through, our, through our area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. and I know, I know you played at an anti-pipeline event in Yes. West Cummington. Right? Yes, yeah, yes, that's that it. That was great yeah. in the summer. And that's when I, I saw that, uh, that video. That's mm -hmm. really very, very excellent video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I want to make sure people know how, because you, you do things like weddings and stuff. So yes. there may be people out yeah. there who want to hire yeah, you for do, a wedding or a, other kind of event. We do a wide event. variety of yeah, stuff. I've done yeah. uh, theme gatherings. I've played for a couple birthdays before. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you do a variety of yeah. stuff. And, and so people could contact you at, your, at the Gmail yes, account? Yes, the Gmail account. So that's the.pied dot hoppist at gmail.com. Yes. So that would yeah. be a good place. And now you're also have a Facebook page. Yeah, and I, I also have um, a professional Facebook page of the, the Pied Harpist on there uh -huh, as well. Great. So yeah, they can so contact me So people can way. find you under Piper the Pied Harpist on yep. Facebook too, and then they get some information mm -hmm. about what's going on, yeah. you know, with your life yeah, and definitely. your gigs and <laughs> all of that, yeah. And I know you have like a whole uh, a series of, of gigs coming up at for high teas at, mm -hmm. at Ch Chandler's and uh, some other things coming up too. So that's yeah. great, wonderful. Yeah, yeah so. Be really great. <laughs> yeah, so things are really looking up for you and your mm -hmm. career. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna be a busy bee. <laughs> yeah, you are. So, and I'm sure so many people are really happy that you came back to this part of the state. Oh, very much, everyone's yeah. very excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So great. Well, let's hear a couple more. All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, this next song is the last song I 
the last song, most recent song I, I wrote, last one at Berkeley, and it was an assignment for us to write a research song which teaches about a historical event. And I chose this, this year, of course, uh, as, as you, as you, you know, um, is, is a leap year. And um, in Old Deerfield, we are, re in the last weekend of February, we're putting on a reenactment of the 1704 raid on Deerfield. And I went, I decided to write a song on that. And I went on to um, the local website, Many Stories of 1704, I believe is what it's called. And it, it listed, I, I gathered as much as I could to try and tell the story. And the, the event on the, that last week in February, I'm going to do a little mini, mini uh, commercial for it. it. It's a free event. And at um, the Memorial Hall Museum will be open at PVMA. And it's going to be at the Indian House, which I believe is the house on our town seal, <laughs> is, is Old Indian House. And there will be lots of historical activities for the family and all that. So this song is written, of course, with me being just me. It will be hard for me to, me to sing it this way. But it is written to be sung by each verse by a different person. And it ranges from the attack in 1704 to the return, return of um, Eunice Williams Younger, which, which I call in the song Little Eunice, when she makes contact with her brother after she had been integrated into her native community. It's called 1704. with me 
I took her from a careless Englishman Trapped as maids have grown In that culture they own Now she has respect Love for the land And when that man has for her As Mary, as Mary Caitlin, servant to God, who gave a Frenchman water when he could. When will the blood stop? As Mary human, the twice caught with hatred for the savages. last song is a song that goes full circle to my childhood. And before I took up the harp, I was probably in third grade, I think. And I was taking piano lessons. And all the songs I was learning were on the white keys of the piano. And I'd look at the piano I'd see all the black keys, all, all in the same place. And I'd think how lonely those black keys were. And I, I wouldn't play them. And it's like, I wouldn't get any songs to be able to play the black keys. So I decided to write a song on the black keys. And it was just, an, it's just a melody, I, I, and it stuck with me over all these years. Every single time I've sat at a at a piano, I felt the urge to play that black key melody, as I called it. It was called the melody on the black keys or whatever it was. And it turned out to be, later I learned it was in a pentatonic scale. This pentatonic scale is called the black key scale. So at Berkeley, I was asked to write a song to teach kids, or music education, along with my classes. And that melody came to my head because it stuck in my head ever since I was a little kid. And so I wrote a song, it's called Pentatonic Playmates. Um, and it's, it's a song that I, that I could teach to, to kids. I put lyrics to it. So this is Pentatonic Playmates. Music is so new to 
to me what will we sing today we can sing together now abc one two three